Again, to jewelry making made easy by Ellen. Yesterday, we started with right angle weave and made these very pretty right angle weave bracelets. So today, I thought we would continue with the right angle weave and learn how to make a bracelet. I think this will be in two parts. The first part will be making the bracelet and putting a clasp on. And the next video, part two, will be in embellishing the bracelet with crystals, if you would like to do that. Now, right now, I'm working with a, uh, a purple glass pearl and rainbow seed beads to start with. And we're going to finish off this bracelet that I've already done, pretty much all of it. So I have my needle and thread. And I usually work with a lot longer thread, but because it gets tangled, and for a beginner, I suggest you use no more than, I don't know, a yard, maybe a little bit less. Okay, so this, the basis of a right angle weave is four pearls, and they're sewn in a circle. So we are going to pick up four pearls and four seed beads. I'm starting with a seed bead. Pearl, seed bead, pearl, seed bead, pearl, seed bead, pearl. And we want a seed bead on every side of the pearl, but because this is being sewn in the, in the circle, we only need the seed bead on one end. I'm going to bring that down to the bottom, leaving a little bit of a tail. And I'm going to sew back through. We're coming out the top. And I'm going to sew back through the bottom through all those pearls. So sometimes I can catch them all at one time. Sometimes I have to add a couple at a time. And it looks like I'm going to get through them all at one time. So I just pull my needle through while I'm holding that extra thread between my fingers and pull it around. So now we have a circle. And what I didn't show you yesterday was it's probably a good idea to put kind of a uh, little knot there. And I'll tie one more knot for security, making sure that the thread is going right between the seed bead and the pearl that I came out of. All right, so this is where the thread is going to get cut, and you never cut a thread where you have uh, made a knot. I'm going to continue going through one more seed bead and one more pearl, and I'm going to make a half hitch knot, which I showed you yesterday, but we'll repeat it. I went through a seed bead and a pearl. I'm going underneath the thread that's between the seed bead and the pearl, pulling it through till there's a loop, going through the loop, and pulling it tight. And I'm going to continue around because I want my thread to be at the top, coming out the left side of the top pearl. So I went through seed bead pearl, seed bead pearl. And this is what we have, our first station. In right angle weave, the first station always starts with four. And you're adding three beads. And since we're putting seed beads in ours, which keeps the thread from showing and adds a little decoration to it, we start with a seed bead, pearl, Seed bead, pearl, seed bead, pearl, and a seed bead. So that we have a seed bead on each end and between each pearl. Now we slide that down. We are coming out of the left side of the top pearl, 
slide them all down. And we are going back through the opposite side that we've come out of. We came out here. We're going through the opposite side of that top pearl. Not a seed bead, just the pearl. Put the needle right through the pearl and pull. Notice we only use three pearls, but it's going to give the illusion of a station of four. And again, I want my needle to come out of the top left hand side. I'm actually going to flip this over because I like to work on the right. And always make sure that you're pulling your thread taut. Now your thread should be coming out of the pearl between two seed beads. So you're going to go up through a seed bead, a pearl, a seed bead, and another pearl. And you'll be coming out the top left hand side of the top pearl and pull that taut. Again, I'm going to flip it over because I like to work on the right. And I'm going to repeat that. Three pearls with a seed bead on each end and a seed bead in between. So it's seed bead, pearl, seed bead, pearl, seed bead, pearl, seed bead. I have three seed beads, one on each end and one in between. I'm coming out of the right hand side of the top pearl. I'm going to flip it over. So now it's coming out of the left hand side and I'm going to go back through the other side of the pearl and pull it. Once again, I'm going to flip it over and work my way back up to the top left hand side. The thread is coming out of this pearl between two seed beads. I'm going up through one seed bead, one pearl, another seed bead, and another pearl. So I'm coming up out of the left hand side of the top pearl and I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to continue on until the bracelet is, I'm using a magnetic clasp that's only one half of an inch. I want a seven and a half inch bracelet so I'm going to make this seven inches. So I'm going to stop here and if you're working with me I would pause the video, get your seven inches or seven and a quarter or whatever it is you're going to make the length of the bracelet and come back and I will show you how to finish the bracelet off. Get rid of these guys. I don't want to mix them up. That's my rainbow and I'm working with a uh, shiny copper, not copper, shiny uh, kind of brass seed bead and champagne pearls. Okay, I'll finish this guy off later. Okay, so here I have run out of thread. And this is a perfect example of what happens when you're working with a shorter thread, which is the best thing to do so it doesn't get tangled. I already did a half hitch knot here. This is where it had the thread had come out of the top left. And I did do a half hitch knot. This is a little short for me to do it again. So I'm just going to show you what I do to continue. I just continue feeding the thread through the thread path that I've already created. Of course, it's going to get sticky now and not want to go through. Going through a few pearls after I've knotted it. You never cut it off where you knot it. Staying in the path 
that the thread is already going. So I'm just going back through here if I can get it in there. One more bead. And that's where I'll cut it off and just add new thread. And it's not going to go through. But I actually have gone through a couple of seed beads and a couple of pearls after knotting it. So I feel pretty safe and cutting this thread off here. Now instead of adding thread to that, what I actually do is I've threaded another needle and I'm going to start somewhere down in here. I guess I'll start through and I'm just going to work my way up to where I want it. Here's a little bit hanging out here. I want the thread to come out of the top left like every other station that we did. So I went through one purl. I'm going to hold on to the end of that thread. And I'm going to do a half hitch knot here. I'm going underneath the thread that's already there between the purl and the seed bead, making a loop and pulling it between those two beads. I'm actually going to do it one more time just for security's sake. Underneath the thread, make a loop, put my needle through the loop, and pull. Now I'm going to work my way up to where I want it. I'm going to go through here. As long as you're not making a new thread path, it really doesn't matter what beads you're going through. So there's no more thread showing that needs to stick out. And I'm just kind of weaving my way through. And eventually I'm going to wind up through the top. And it's already secured down here. going through the top pearl. So now I'm where I want to be. And this may be, get a little sticky because I did go through that pearl two or three times already. Okay, just like when you were making your stations, you wind up, up at the top left. And now we're going to put on the second half of the class. I did one end. So this is where we ended our station and we're not putting another station on. Actually I'm going to cut this excess thread off here so it doesn't get in my way. And when you're working with magnetic clasps they love sticking to things. So keep all metal out of your way. <laughs> actually kind of helps to have it on the ruler, keeps it in place. All right, it was on the left hand side, now it's on the right, doesn't matter. I'm going to pick up three seed beads. Actually, I'm going to bring this thread down a little bit so it kind of doubles and pick up three seed beads. Bring it down to the pearl. I'm going to go through that loop in the, can you see the loop? The loop in the top of the magnet. I'm going to go through that twice. Once. Twice. And I'm going to slide that down to those seed beads. And then I'm going to pick up three more seed beads. One, two, three. And like we started with the stations, we're coming out one side of the pearl. We're going to go back through the opposite side of the pearl. Get it in there. 
that was a bad place to end off with the thread because I've already been through that pearl a couple of times. Get a little help from my friend over here. Okay. <coughs> Magnet wants to go to the needle and the flyer. Pull it through. And then I'm going to go back through all those seed beads and the clasp again. So I'm going back through three seed beads, the loop and the clasp. Back down through these three seed beads. Helps to put your finger over the magnet because it just wants to grab hold of the needle. Pull it taut. Go back through the pearl. If you can. It's giving me a little bit of a hard time. So what I'm going to do and this doesn't normally happen if you end your thread before the last, before you're putting your clasp on. So I'm going to continue down. Instead of going back through this pearl, I'm going to go down through this uh, station here to give it a little bit more security. Now I'm going through the bottom pearl and I'm going to do a half hitch knot there. And go back up through a couple more beads. Actually, I'll go back up through the seed beads and the clasp. Give it a little more security. As many times as you can uh, go through the clasp, the better off you are. And you'll notice it gets a little harder because you've already been through there a few times. I'm just going back through one more pearl, a half hitch knot underneath the thread between the seed bead and the pearl, pull through another seed bead and another pearl and cut it off. Just loving that scissor. I got a little piece hanging out. This is not advisable. There are things that are called thread burners. But I have a little piece hanging out and no thread burner. So that just kind of burns it down and puts a little stub on the end. Here is our pretty right angle weave bracelet. Up, oh, there we go. Now I'm going to do one more video after this, part two, and I'm going to embellish it. I hope you enjoyed this. I will have kit available. I'm going to try to make a few colors, but this is a very
comfortable and pretty bracelet as it is. It looks even prettier with crystals. Thank you. Have a good day and come back again.